jump to this? Oh, oh, oh. Guys, what was that? It spiked out really high. Thank you so much. Boys, looks like we're doing another abandoned and afraid episode. Gotta love them. Looks as if I'm driving again. Looks as if River's driving again. Gotta love it. Once again, another abandoned and afraid episode. Woo! Mic check. The windows closed to fear and doubt. I stopped and turned, trying to find out. There might be something I forgot, but all I know is that I miss you all. Seven days of eternity, seven days in another country. Officers say over the last two days they have arrested more than a dozen prostitutes acting on tips from the community. Every cell screams, stay right here, and my legs, they freeze us in fear. Marshal Mark, investigators tell me in just the last two days they've arrested a total of 16 women for soliciting prostitution. And while some may argue it's a victimless crime, police see it very differently. In fact, they call it a crime against the entire community. The Lazy Bee Ranch is a little brothel that sits on the outskirts of Fallon, Nevada. Now the building was built in 1975 after the legalization of all brothels in Nevada and there were over 30 of them. I've been pushing away everybody I love. For some reason there is little to no information about who exactly built this brothel. I just want to be somebody who The reason for him to build it in this exact location was due to high traffic. This was right in the center of a large mining and ranching operation right off the side of the highway. Now the Lazy Bee Ranch actually built themselves a pretty poor reputation. It was reputed allowing underage customers even giving them their own separate waiting room. This is what people meant by the Lazy Bee creating some sketchy conflicts. Illegally letting young people in was just not the right idea. Not to mention the other stuff they could have possibly done there. I am out here alone Cause there's nobody left I need someone to talk to the power in the brothel was supplied by a small generator, and the women didn't even have fresh water to shower in. They had a well that would only produce salt water. There is a life I lead in this city. Drinking fresh water had to be shipped in and the women would have to go down the road to another brothel to take fresh showers. Other than the women not receiving the essentials that they needed, they were also treated very poorly, mentally and physically. Rumors say that some of the women had passed during their time working at the brothel, but no one could figure out what they actually had passed away from. The cause is still a mystery. Since there were over 30 brothels during this time in Nevada, there were only two in Churchill County. Out of these two, they both had a very hard time as well. Even though Churchill County is a very small community, it was passed through quite often by many travelers. It also had its fair share of people disliking the idea of brothels and their legalization. Despite all of the people traveling through the area to go to the Lazy Bee Ranch, there was one person in particular who hated these brothels. She was the wife of the sheriff in Churchill County. Rumors suggest that he was a regular at one of these brothels, and shockingly enough, the wife firebombed one of these brothels in 1977.
Before she could reach the Lazy Bee, she was caught and jailed for a short amount of time. After this, she was later put on parole. After the building's closure in 1999, the place has sat still and dormant for over two decades. The building is surprisingly still well preserved, minus a few broken windows and some broken mirrors. However, a lot of the stories that we could gather are from some of the people who decided to visit the property during this time. Those who have not gone inside have heard what they think to be screams coming from one of the rooms inside, or loud bangs or knocks. And for the people who have gone inside of the buildings, they have witnessed things that they can't quite explain. Supposedly, a lot of the stories say that some of the women who worked here are still there to this day. Our goal here tonight is to try and see if we could get in contact with any of the women who still reside in this brothel. And hopefully, nobody gets too touchy-feely with us. I'd like to introduce all four of us. I know you have already seen us walking up and down, in and out of this place. My name is Ryan. The guy to the left of me, his name is Nick. The guy standing right in front of me, his name is River. And the guy standing to the right of him, his name is Wyatt. And we heard a couple of stories that there is women still here to this day in this building. And we are here to communicate with whoever. Bad God damn it. That scared the shit out of me, I'm sorry. Get the out of here. We are here to give you an opportunity to come and have a talk with somebody and let them hear your story. Maybe you'd like to give us some information on why you are still here and what you'd like us to know. We have one rule for you. We only wish to communicate with you and let your voice be heard. You are not allowed to harm us in any way. You're not allowed to touch us or follow us home after we leave this place. We are only here to talk to you and under... and try to understand more about you. Please, if you can, make a noise, knock on something again. So while we were setting up and getting some B-roll, over down this hallway, there's a bar. That's where the guys keep saying that they, they hear what sounds like knocking on the bar. So we're, what sounds like knocking on the bar. So, hello. hello. Right, when you said it. Thank you. Are you over there near the bar? Can you maybe come walk over here? We can try and give you the chance and the opportunity to leave this place if you feel like you are stuck here, because if you are stuck here, then I'm sure you'd like to get out. So if you can please cooperate with us and give us some information, we have these objects that will definitely show us that you're here. I understand that we might be a little intimidating because we are here, but I, I assure you that we are here not to upset you in any way and to get in contact and communicate with you. This first object that we have here, I'm gonna go ahead and set this in the hallway, right? Did anybody hear that? What was that, was that you? That was in this room. Really? Yeah. Did you just make a noise in here? Can you do that again? Just either here. One of these rooms. 
like I said, we have a couple of objects that'll show us that you are here if you come and interact with them. This one right here, if you get close to this metal rod, it'll light up and it'll buzz. And that'll let us know that you are here. All you need to do is get close to it. You can hold on to this. And as you can see, it lights up and it makes a buzzing noise. Please feel free to come and hold on to that. It's not gonna hurt you in any way. It'll just detect that you're here with us. We also have another one. If you can conjure and build enough energy to where you can come. Tick. No, it was a knock. Hi, can you come right here? You can make this light up. This lights up a bunch of different colors. You can come and hold on to this object. Running. Either running or two tabs. Towards the bar. Towards the bar again. I'm gonna leave this object here. We're gonna head straight towards the bar. If you can give us a sign that you're over here in the bar area. This is where we've been hearing all this noise. Oh, 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 oh! That was weird. Wait! I heard a whine. Something whimpered. Something walked past us. Told you. I swear to God, I saw it. I swear I saw it. No, I'm on edge. Thank you. Okay, this is where we were hearing a bunch of noise earlier. I don't know if it's possible for you to maybe give us a sign that you are in here with us, but if you can, we have another one of these objects. I'm gonna set it right here on this bar counter. Can you please give us a sign? Then we could try and find out if you're a, a man or a woman. What the f Thank you. That was instant. Thank Inter you. Interrupted you. you. You just said man and it interrupted you. Are you a male? Or are you a female? Go ahead and light it. Thank you so much. You found another. No, it's two. One solid. Wait, I heard something. Sounded like there was a voice. Okay, we have this object as well, Wyatt has it, and this will give us a little bit more information from you. This object, you were able to come up to it and project your words so that we know what you'd like to say to us. This will give you that opportunity to use your words. Thank you so much. Share. Afraid. Are you afraid to share? You don't have to be afraid to share anything. We're safe people and you can communicate with us. Please walk up to that object right there that you just used to tell us those two words. Can you please let us know if we are correct if you're a female or if we're correct if you're a male? Now lighting up these objects, asking that question, doesn't necessarily give us that straight answer. Or maybe you could give us a name. And don't worry, you don't need to be afraid. We can work on this very slowly if you like. We don't need to rush into things. That was the wall. Oh, ooh, okay. Okay. What? what was that? Hey, okay, that was in the bathroom. That Did was the glass bathroom. just fall down? Oh, okay. What, what was that? Hey, that was in the bathroom. That was the glass just fall down? Can I turn on this light? Yes, please. No. Are you sure? There's a crack in it, but that's always been there. Are you sure? Positive. Jesus Christ. Didn't mean to flash the light so bright. There's so much shit on the ground, dude. I don't know. That sounded like a piece of glass, bro. It was something that hit like metal or glass. The mirror's, I mean, it's cracked, but it's not broken. There's some pottery. God damn. Oh, look. On the sink right there. What is it? Big, big shards of like glass or something. Porcelain. Oh, what the, is that a, like a piece of a light? It's a whiskey cup. Did that shit, that was It loud. sounded like glass. It wasn't that loud. No way. No. 
If it was a whiskey cup, that'd be freaking really loud, guys. There's all these pieces of something else. Well, that made me jump. Was that just you? Did you just make something fall? Because it sounded like something fell in that bathroom. If that was you, can you please come and speak into that object over there on the corner of the bar? Or come right here, make this object light up. You could even make this one light up. Or the one in the hallway. You don't need to come that close to us if you don't want to. Maybe I can try a different technique here. This flashlight in my hand, I can go ahead and set this on the counter. Please use your energy and make this flashlight turn on and off. I just heard a knock in the hallway. Oh yeah, that's next to you. I'm gonna set this flashlight right here. If you can please use your energy to turn that on, you walk behind the bar, right where you saw me set it down. If you can please light that up to let us know that you are here and listening and would possibly like to communicate with us, then please light that up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was loud. Yeah, that was really loud. Come on over. Trying to get some information from you. Maybe get a name if that's possible. Tina. 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 Did you just give us your name, Tina? Is that who's here? If your name is Tina, please give us a sign that you are here. If you can come walk up to us near that bar, you're using your energy to give us some information, and I want to say thank you so much. Now, is there something we can do for you, Tina? Can we help? EVP session? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say EVP. Okay, Tina, maybe we could find out a little bit more from you. This object right here in my hand, if you come out to the bar and try to speak to us, this should pick up what we cannot hear. Yell as loud as you can into this object here in my hand. Okay, Ghost Gang, so I'm just gonna get right into this. I'm gonna set the EVP recorder down. We're gonna ask a couple of questions and we'll see if we could get an answer. Is your name Tina? How many of there are you here in this building? Why are you still here? Can we help you? Are you okay with us being here? Flashlight. What? Flashlight! Flashlight. Please turn that on. Can you do that for us? Do you guys see it? Anybody see it? I see yeah. it. I see it. Ooh, there we go. Thank you! There we go. Thank you! Can you make it brighter? Was that you, Tina? I'm just gonna get right into it. Listen to see if we got anything. Is your name Tina? That's getting brighter. How many of there are you here in this building? Why are you still here? Can we help you? Can we help you, Tina? You just made that flash. Can we help you, Tina? You just made that flash. Do you need help, Tina? Thank you. I'm sorry if we're calling you maybe by the wrong name. We hope that doesn't upset you in any way. I just want to make sure we're doing the right thing here for you. We're just trying to make sure we respect you and call you by the right name. Now for now, 
So far, this is how we're feeling. We feel like you were telling us that your name is Tina. You said it through our object that you were able to talk. When I was playing this recorder, playing this object back for us to listen to see if you had talked through it, as soon as we asked if you needed help, you flickered that light. So once again, if you need us to get you out of here, if you don't like being in here, you give us a sign, please. This light has been sitting there, what, good 10, 15 minutes? A long time. Yeah, a long amount of time. That was a really unique EVP session. I've never heard of something answering questions after you've asked them on a recording. After you've asked them, no, that's right. I thought I heard a couple whispers, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go ahead and go through that while I'm editing. I'd like to do one more session real quick. If it gets interrupted, it gets interrupted and we'll continue on, but maybe we could get a good solid one. So let's go ahead and try it one more time for the second time. Did you just make that flashlight go off? When Nick had asked if you needed help, do you need help? Are you trying to answer our questions with the flashlight? It just got dimmer. Whoever this is, if this is Tina, there's another building here. Should we go in that one? Are you saying yes to go into the other building? Yes! Oh, Did you guys get that? I got it, I got it, I got it. Bright as day. Thank you. We are going. Thank you so much. Oh. Okay. Thank you! Oh. All the way off. That was all the way off. That's crazy. That was a yes. That's that was a 100% yes. That's a yes. Something wants us over there. Why though? That Why, is yeah. I just had the weirdest feeling to ask that question. True false says yes too. True false Wait, says yes. True false says yes? True false? It worked! Oh, it's gone. What well, do you mean true false? It's going false? back up. It's going, it's back, going up back up. This has a true false setting. Green for yes, red for no. Okay. Maybe Ooh. we will do that. No. What was that, guys? There's knocks everywhere. Stop. Do you hear that, guys? Is that the other building? Yeah, it's right there. It's in here, too. It's through that wall. Okay, okay. What's Let's... that, guys? Dude, it's doing it again, straight up. Can someone tell me why things got worse after I talked about the other building? I don't know. Is there something wrong with this other building? Will we be safe going over there? Tina, you know, please tell us the truth. Wow. I'm very, very, very pleased so far with what's too. happening. I am too. Do we want to play back the EVP session? Yes. Somebody maybe keep an eye on the uh, Did you just make light? the flashlight yeah. go off? Somebody maybe keep an eye on the uh, Did you just make light? the flashlight yeah. go off? I think I heard a light something, light something when right Nick there. asked if you needed help, do you need help? Are you trying to answer our questions with the flashlight? It just got down. It's a little hard to tell. It's so much easier to tell Whoever when I'm editing. Is, Here it is. Are you saying yes to go into the other building? Okay, we're gonna go into the next building. That was down the hallway. That's what they want. So That's... let's go. I'm kinda freaked out. I... Why though? This is very, very unnerving. I've never felt so unnerved having to go somewhere else. Okay, Tina, we are going to the next building over. I hope by you saying yes, and by you s telling us that you'd like us to go over there, I'm hoping that you're telling us that it is safe for us to go over there. Now, if you have any second thoughts and you'd like to stop us from going over there, because it may be too dangerous, please give us a sign while we walk over there. Try and stop us if you can. Whoa, whoa. Guys, what was that? What? Some, someone literally just touched me, I swear to God. 
I, I legit felt Are you okay? I, I'm fine, I'm fine, but I felt like a whole hand literally like touch me on my back like this, dude. Literally like this. Oh, that was a like, real push me. scream. Did you hear him? I just saw you Did fly you catch forward. Him? Holy crap. Are you okay? You I'm that, freaked out, dude. You hit that counter pretty hard. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how to explain it. Okay. I felt like someone just like, kind of like easily Let me hold this for you. Take a breath. Yeah. Holy Take a breath. shit. That was crazy. I did. I hit that counter I, pretty hard, dude. You that happened so fast. I thought something got thrown at you from how, I thought, how fast. I thought I thought the roof fell down. Yeah, I thought something terrible just happened. No, like so at first, cause you know I, I've hit my head on this thing. LMAO. No shit. No way. <laughs> that did you just laugh my ass off? Did you just touch me? Oh, you're right there, aren't you? Was that you stopping us from going over there? Dude, I just got chills so bad. Me too. Truth! Truth! Oh my God, I'll just... oh. Dude, it was, I swear, dude, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. That was a whimper? Wow. Dude. Wow. Holy crap. Maybe how that's... are you, yeah, let's, let's take little a quick break. break. We'll go over to the next building and uh, see how that goes. But Man. right now you need a little breath. I don't know if it was Tina or somebody else telling us to come into this building, but we are about to enter. Before we do, I just want to say that you do not have any permission to harm us nor follow us. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Date me. What's going on? That's man? okay. This is kind of weird. Brothel, women, Tina. She touched your back. I think she likes you, River. I oh think, my God. I think Tina wants to have her time with River. That was kind of something I was thinking about because you know how I brought up the fact of it, the activity followed you two when you left the room? Yeah, she wasn't looking for me. She's looking for River. I don't think she's trying to harm you, River. I think she's trying to have s with you. Why do you have to say that, man? <laughs> Needless to say, she has some sort of attachment to you for some reason. Do you fancy me, Tina? I want you to go in here. No. Please. I'll go with you. I'll be right behind you. My feet don't want me to go. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You're okay. I'm here. Okay, the river is in here. If it's true that you might have a little connection, or you might want a connection with River, can you please give us a sign? I heard a knock down that hallway as soon as I tried to approach in here. Whoa. You're not stepping? No, you guys I hear aren't? That. I hear that. I heard that, yes. Thank you so much. Why did you want us to come in here? That was it again. By any chance, was this your area? Is this where you'd stay a lot? Right. Yes, sir. Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and set this object here on this counter. Please come and give us a sign. Let us know if you are wanting to talk to us and continue to talk to us, and maybe we are correct. Debbie. Debbie? Are we talking to Debbie or Tina? That just went off, right? That's going off? Oh! Thank you! Who's here with us? When the ovulus said Debbie, sounded like Tina just sent a couple of guys in here for Debbie. Yeah, like she was calling her. Like, Debbie, come on! Yeah. Got a couple of men here for you. Does that not sound correct? Kinda, yes. Debbie or Tina, this object here, I don't know if you know Debbie, but if you walk up to it, it'll buzz and make a light. It'll let us know that you're here. That was back there. I heard that, yes. Debbie, why don't you come over here? Or Tina, both of you women, can you please come and talk to us? 
We gotta go back there. Both of you women, can you please come and talk to us? We gotta go back there. We're coming back here, ladies. Can you please give us a sign which room you're in? Never mind. What just happened? I apologize for that. What just happened? Something just ran and hit the wall. That didn't seem friendly. Is that you back there? Maybe you weren't the right person. I was not the right person. He was waiting. You were correct. Someone was waiting for someone else. At this point, I feel like I'm a block. Legit. Who do you want back there? What's his name? Oh, if you say River right now, I'm leaving. I'm leaving River in here. <laughs> By himself. No. What's his name? No. I'm sorry, Riv. I didn't mean to. I uh, I didn't mean to come out so abrupt because I don't know if you could even see. I don't know if anybody caught it, but I tripped oh, I over it. this. I don't know what it was. It's like a toaster. I tripped over something, so it made it more dramatic by accident. Uh, check on that REM pod right there. You stepped on it. Should we try another EVP session or anything like that? I just want to. I want to try to find more answers. Sure. I'm just letting you, you girls, know or whoever is back there. I know you want River, I understand. I'm just trying to give you some more objects here so that you can communicate with us and maybe give us some more information. To our understanding, we are getting the feeling that you, you want River. That's too bad, I'm celibate. This object here, I can ask a couple more questions. I don't know if this is you, Tina, or Debbie. This will give you more of a chance to speak to us because this object here picks up things that we can't hear. So if you'd like to maybe use your words after I ask a couple of questions, we would really appreciate yeah. that. Heard that? We're gonna go do EVP2 back here. I really feel like River should come with me. Let River go first. Right now, right now, Actually, I think no, River's no, no. like the Never mind, center sorry. of the attention. You don't understand how freaked out I am right now, boys. You got it. I'm celibate, coming back there. Is there somebody back here with us right now? What is your name? Are there two women that live here, that still walk around here? Is it River that you want? I just felt something very close to me. Got very, very I, cold. I, I heard... Is there somebody back here with us right now? Is there somebody back here with us right now? What was that? What know. is your name? Are there two women that live here that still walk around here? Dude, it sounds like something's either talking into this or moving it around. Is it River that you want? Whoa. Is it River that you want? Whoa. That said something. That was something. That was definitely something. This is so hard to tell, man. We hear something after almost every question that we asked. It sounds like either sh like messing around with this recorder or something saying something. I'm gonna have to boost the audio and see what's going on. Do you want to play it back for me so I can try to listen too? No. <laughs> yeah. I'm coming. Anything else happen in there? Ow! Dude. I had a. I hit it on. The oh! Whoa! Whoa! Ah! What? What did you do? The taser that just, the, the, the taser in my pocket just went off in my pocket. Oh, I just scraped the side of the wall. How did uh, that happen? Because you just, we're trying to be safe. I had a taser in my pocket. It should, it shouldn't be on, man. I just tased my side. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay. Did you turn that what? on? Are you kidding me? I'm what? so confused. By the way, that taser is really good. <laughs> I haven't been tased in a long ass time. I can't <laughs> believe that. <laughs> I am awake.
<laughs> and I ate shit. Did you see that? I watched it happen. Man. <laughs> I apologize if I scared you. Yeah. I'm not ever carrying that thing again. <laughs> You guys, you guys tell us in the comments to make sure that we bring some protection. So Nick's mom gave him a taser and so I carried it and now that wasn't a good idea. Now I'm not touching that thing anymore. Not an idea. No. Ow! Ow! Fish! What? Ow! What did that just really? Ow! Did, how did that just shock you? Ow! What is going on? That's not even on. It could have kept its current, Ooh. but I don't know if it... I turned it off, like, right when I was standing right there, so it could have kept its current. Turn that on again. Do that again. This is the most unorthodox... Ow! That's, this was legit... Oh! Oh, oh, oh. oh! Holy crap! Thank you! Dude, are you kidding me? I... Claws! Claws! That just said claws! Claws! They did do it! Did you just do that to us? Do it again. Uh, I don't like this. I f literally feel like I just drank a full ass coffee, Dude, by the way. <laughs> my hand is numb. Woo! What happened? I watched both of you come down that hall. River was in front, and I, and I saw you like, you like, I heard it, and I was like, no. And I saw you jump, and you came forward right after. It was wild. And River was like trying to jump to get out of the way because that was fast. Dude, I went so stiff as soon as that hit because it hit me right here, right here. Turn it all on one more time. I'm wondering if it accidentally turned on in my pocket because that switch is pretty touchy. It's a double switch. Yeah, right. We don't know if this is paranormal, but what are the odds? Let's just say that. That's like shooting all yourself. Of this goes yeah. That, that f hurt. All of our electrical equipment goes off and it says cause. True. Tina or Debbie, I feel like there might be a trickster spirit messing around with us right now. Somebody who's trying to play around with us. Maybe you can reveal yourself right now and show us who you truly are. Is that back there again? I don't know where that was. I felt that. Oh, it was over here. I, felt dude, I, I feel some someone here, dude. You feel like, somebody in there? Yeah, I, I straight feel someone on this deck right here. Okay, I'm gonna say this. Let's make sure we go ahead and do a cleanse before we go into the car. Dude, I'm, I'm serious, guys. Doing it? Okay. I, I straight feel someone here. Okay. There's someone Grab right here. Enough. That's right behind you. Grab I enough. swear. There's somebody standing out here, waiting for River to come out, waiting for somebody to come out. You give us a sign if that's you standing right here. River can feel you. Tick. Do that again, please. I think I know what you're talking about. Dude, uh, do you feel it? Please tell me you feel that. Yes, but I also feel like somebody's watching us from the kitchen. Mm-hmm, yeah. An orb just came. Yeah, I caught it, I got it. An orb just came down the hallway and out the door. I think I know what you're talking about. Dude, uh, do you feel it? Please tell me you feel that. Yes, but I also feel like somebody's watching us from the kitchen. Mm-hmm, yeah. I don't really like wanna like stick around. I kinda wanna go, man. Okay. <laughs> there comes to a point where it almost feels a little dangerous to continue staying here because if they like messing with us, I really don't want to upset anything further. Whoa! Got it. I Did think. You get it? Whoa! I think someone just agreed with me. Somebody hold this stuff. I want to make sure nothing's messing with it. Did you just hold on to that? While you're here, if you are Tina or Debbie or maybe somebody else who maybe didn't want to give us their name, I just want to let you know that you are free to leave out of this building, out of this area, if you do not want to be here anymore. You need to use everything you have, all the energy you have, imagine a big bright light, and then leave this door, or in the other building, leave the nearest door, the nearest exit, because you have permission to leave now. You have no permission to follow us. Holy shit, that scared me. We don't know if that's you agreeing or just listening, but you don't have permission to attach to us or follow us after this. When we leave, you can go anywhere else, just not with us. We are protected. Go home. Go towards the light. Okay. Okay. I missed that. Oh, okay. I got it. That's okay. Okay, Ghost Gang. At this point, we are... are all having the same feeling to where we feel like it's definitely time to get out of here. We're not trying to make any spirits here or whoever's here 
angry at us. I, I don't know. I'm not getting an angry vibe. A little bit, but more of a trickster vibe. A little bit. Whatever happened to us tonight, this is, this is the thing. When you go to any abandoned place, that usually gives something. Right. So you got to remember that. This is probably why we've been getting either evil. This one didn't feel so evil. Just stupid things happened to us. Okay. Tony, they're looking. Anyways, Ghost Gang, keep that in mind. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you next week. Peace.